Prior to moving to Seattle in 1996, I'd lived in Washington, D.C., New York, Chicago, and I'd traveled to most of the major cities on Earth. By comparison, Seattle seemed beautiful, but small, provincial, a little isolated, a preteen of a city. But somehow in the intervening years, Seattle grew up, quietly came of age, and now suddenly and unpredictably disrupts the world in so many dynamic ways. I think there's a, there's a sense of humility in Seattle. And I think that humility creates the balance uh, where less is more. Seattle is in a very unique spot right now because it hasn't been fully built and tapped out. There's opportunity all over the place. It's a big enough city that you can make a difference, but it's small enough that you can still make an impact. It's a city where entrepreneurs actually know each other. This city seems to reinvent itself, or it has consistently been, been reinventing itself. We have a new symphony hall, we have a new museum in three locations, we have the Experience Music Project, a redeveloped. So I've seen all of these houses for culture grow and develop as the city has grown and developed around it. There have been phases, there have been pockets of growth every now and then, but this is by far the fastest one. I think Certainly the big technology companies are to be credited. They're bringing the best and the brightest in from all over the world. And with them, with that rich diversity, is a bank of ideas that are changing the city. Seattle is drawing like bright, creative, opportunistic people. I thought when I moved up here it was the best place to live in America. Now I know it is. And if you think about like, okay, you know, who's, who's really kind of come to settle in Seattle long ago, right? It's those people that got off their butts, moved across the country, took enormous levels of risk, right? That DNA is sitting here. I think that willingness to take the risk is one of the things that has been the seed from which all of this great stuff in Seattle has grown. If you are operating as an entrepreneur in a city that you feel like just fundamentally has integrity, you know, from its elected officials on down to its business community, you, you are going to be braver because you're going to know at least you're playing by the same set of rules as everybody else and so it's just a safer place to take risks. One of the great things about Seattle is that there's a very permeable membrane between the urban and the wilderness. Uh, you know, you can get on a, get into a kayak within minutes and be in real water and the ocean and the sound. Is the idea that you can be in nature in just a mere moment, and that um, you know, when you're in your own thoughts and you're thinking of something or looking to solve a problem, you sort of have that release and then you're able to come back to whether your work environment or your own company or, or really look at a problem in general differently. It allows sort of that, that fluidity um, in, in life. The real story is about the people. People here invest in other people and their ideas and it feels more inspirational or you have more room to be free. I think here, it's a participatory, inclusive kind of environment. People start to be part of their environment, they get creative. I think Seattle would probably be close to the top of the list uh, of embracing people from diverse backgrounds and living in harmony together. You know, I feel very fortunate to be able to actually be from somewhere else, but still feel like I'm very accepted and make it in this city. I don't think there's a city in the world where has the culinary diversity of high quality food and surprise and delight, not to mention the experience you're gonna have in these restaurants. Yes, it's a city that embraces diversity from race, gender, religion, architecture, art, and even food. And one of Seattle's 
pioneering eateries is the Rooftop M Bar, a place that brings a view to infinity and an international repertoire of fine cuisine. A place like M Bar, which is, has no walls, as you can see around you, uh, means that you can see and be seen and it's very easy to connect with other people. You know, I think we're hoping to really create a memorable experience um, so by the time you actually sit down to your table and you're kind of reading the menu that, you know, you're really feeling the sense of place. We really look to find the right energies of people who are absolutely passionate about their craft. Wasef and Raja around the concept of M-Bar emanated that energy. And in sort of contrast with other amazing uh, settings and, and dining experiences in the city, we want it to be very dynamic and not static. We, we want to make sure that the space is very flexible and it tracks how the city is growing. From philanthropy to tech, life sciences to art and architecture, from progressive social initiatives to sustainability, to even coffee, craft beer, and groundbreaking fine dining. Seattle not just bends the light, but hacks the world to a better future. <laughs>